Tunisia's tourism industry is taking off. The sandy beaches of Sousse in the northeast are again bustling. Sufyan Baklouti is the general manager of Sibel Hotel. All 480 beds are fully booked, even though the hot season has ended. In 2017, we started to feel like European tourists are coming back. And in 2018, there was a remarkable increase in European tourism, especially Western European tourists, classic markets like Belgian, English, Swiss, Luxembourgers and also French. Scenes like these have not been seen since early 2011 for the uprising that toppled former President Zain al-Abidin bin Ali. That triggered a series of popular revolts in the region known as the Arab Spring. As in all Arab Spring nations, Tunisia paid a hefty price for the sudden political upheaval. Armed groups linked to Al-Qaeda and ISIL staged attacks across the country. The bloodiest was on the Bardo Museum in the capital Tunis in March 2015 that killed 22 people, 20 of them European tourists. The attacks led to a severe drop in visitor numbers, hitting the country's economy. We can say that the hot season has ended, but autumn season is excellent as well, and there are still lots of hotels which will be full for October and early November. It was positive, and statistics are here to confirm that. But that situation began to change early in 2017, with a marked improvement this year. Nearly 5.5 million tourists have arrived since January, and major European operators, including Thomas Cook and TUI, have resumed holidays to Tunisia. The government says it expects visitor numbers to hit a record 8 million by the end of the year. For Tunisians, tourism means not only economic ease, but also peace a feeling shared by those arriving in the country. It's my first visit in Tunis. I am, uh, feel comfortable and safe. And I see you have a lot of uh, policemen and uh, army men uh, with guns. Uh, so it's, uh, it looks uh, safe. Safe, yes, of course I'm safe in Tunisia. I like Tunisia very much. The people are very kind here. Old culture, good food. Uh, I like it very much. The bazaars in Sousse and elsewhere are testament to the changed atmosphere. Handicraft sellers are again busy, all hoping that the bad times are over for good. Mohamed Vall, Al Jazeera.